Double swoosh coming right up. One, two, three. Oh, that's cool. Hey, everybody. It's Anna. I am not in West Virginia today. You can probably see that from behind me. I am on a trip, but I just wanted to share an exciting milestone with you guys. I've been doing YouTube for about two years now, and I've just hit my one millionth video view, so that's pretty fun. Also, because I've been traveling, I couldn't work in the studio and paint something fresh this week. So my video today is two little paintings that I've done in the last few months that never turned into their own video. So I hope you enjoy. Let's make some paintings. Hey guys, I'm doing just a little tiny piece today because I had some leftover colors from doing my tray pour and it turned out so beautifully and I thought instead of trying to like put these in cups to save them, let me just quickly make another painting. So this is a little 7 by 14 inch canvas and I have all the same colors as from my tray flip cup so you can find the link in the video description. And of course, all of the paint colors and how I mix them will be down in the video description as well. There's no silicone in these paints but they made these amazing cells when I did them the first time. So I'm going to do that again. I think I'm just going to do two, two flip cups. And these are my same cups from the other pour. Like I said, I'm doing this right, right after the fact. And so I'm not even going to use clean cups because it's all the same colors. But I'm going to start with white for both. And then this metallic sea mist. And then I'm going to layer them a bit differently. So I'm going to put phthalo blue in this one, whereas I'm going to put phthalo green in this one. And then I'll put gold next to the blue and Caribbean next to the green. And now we'll swap it. We'll do phthalo blue next to the Caribbean and the phthalo green over here on top of the gold and vice versa. So I think I'm going to do two pretty full cups here. So I still have a little bit more of the phthalo blue, so I'll put some of that in each cup have some of the sea mist and I'll put that in each cup and a bit of the green and then some white on top of everything. Great! These should be nice fun cups of paint and hopefully we get lots of beautiful cells from it. So I'm putting the cups down. Whoa, yikes, big splat there. Didn't go fast enough. That one's better. Uh, so I'm gonna pull this one this way and this one this way, and I may even do it at the same time to try to get a nice kind of double swoosh. We'll see. Maybe that's too much to do all at once. Now let's try. Double swoosh coming right up. One, two, three. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so it's spreading towards the edge. Want to make sure that it doesn't all flow off the edge. Use my leftover paint to cover the corners. Let me torch really quick, pop some of these bubbles, make a few more cells before we stretch it out. Cool. All right, I'm going to stretch this way first, and then we'll come back this way. And I'm going to try not to pour it all off the thin sides before it reaches our corners. Okay, I'm going to go to this corner first. Ooh, lost a bunch of my gold. Oh, well. And then down to this corner. Great. And now we'll come back to these corners. And 
to this one. First priority is getting the canvas covered. And then once it's covered, then I can decide where I want these lines. I love this kind of check mark swoop. That's really pretty. Yeah, I think I'm happy with that. That was really easy. Cover up my corners here. All right, let me give you a close up. Okay, so this one's really cool. This one's much more subtle than my other one. There's a lot less gold and there's less white. So I'm glad we do have this one swoop of gold. I think we're gonna have a lot of that sea mist. I can tell that that's the sea mist color there. And this may be sea mist over here as well. That's something shimmery. That's really pretty, it almost looks purple. But it's, it's really beautiful. It's very serene, but I like that bit of movement right through the center. And that's from the double flip cup where they joined up. So really pretty. Thanks guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this quick little flip cup with my leftover paints. Okay, on to painting number two. So this is a little wood circle and I'm doing a bloom. I did this one on the same day that I did my two spin swipes. So my fingers are all messy from those paintings, but I'm sticking my little wooden circle down on my cake spinner with some tape, making sure it's nice and centered. All right, let's add the pillow, which is my Glidden Essentials eggshell in white. Then my colors, I have Thalo Blue, Dioxazine, purple or violet, I can't remember which one. Uh, I think this one is called Bright Magenta. So you see it's nice and thick, but it still flows well. So it's not so thick that it doesn't flow. And then this is a mica pigment. I believe this one is olive, a color shifting pigment. And then this one I think is champagne or possibly it's the other way around. It's hard to tell when they're mixed up, but one of them is champagne and one of them is olive. So let's add some pillow onto the wooden circle. That should be enough paint for this little piece. We'll just spread it out a little bit. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. And now let's put on our colors. So this is a bloom recipe and the colors are all mixed with the bloom pouring medium. If you don't know what I mean by that, I have a bunch of information in the video description and a video on how to mix up the paints and the pouring medium. So I'm starting with the purple and then the phthalo blue because I love the way those dark colors look as they stretch out over a white base. And then let's add some of the champagne. This is a beautiful color that looks kind of tannish, but then it, it shines kind of a magenta. So it's beautiful. And then some of this pink. Well, let's do a little bit more of that. And finally, some olive over the top. So this, this just shines a beautiful kind of golden green color. So it's a great one to have on the top if you just want some extra zing on your painting. All right, now I have my cell activator, which is Amsterdam Standard Series Titanium White mixed uh, one part paint to three parts Australian Floetrol. And if you need a cell activator recipe that doesn't have Australian Floetrol, check my video description because I have an answer for you. So first I'm gonna kind of stretch out the cell activator and then start blowing it out one petal at a time. You're trying to get the white to kind of smear over top of your other colors. So you really wanna push it over top the other colors as much as possible and it does take some practice to get it right. Let's widen out this petal just a little bit more. All right, and then for the middle, I'm gonna use my straw to blow down in that middle section and you can kind of force up some more cells by breaking the surface tension of that white paint and then uh, new cells open up underneath that. Okay, this is looking beautiful. Time to spin it out. 
Okay, that's already stretching really nicely. It's slightly off center, but not much. Okay, that is looking great. And this is why you want to tape down your little piece of wood so that you can spin nice and hard and not worry about it shooting off the side. I think let's spin it one more time, nice and hard. Oh, that is looking fantastic. All right, I'm going to give you a close up. I don't have a picture of it finished as a clock, but I did turn it into a clock. And I don't know why I didn't get a picture of the finished product, and it already sold, so I can't take a picture of it now. But look at that, so much lacing, that pink is just glowing in the middle, so that's beautiful. I just love how this turned out. Thank you all for joining me for these two little pours. I hope it inspired you to try something new, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.